Hey, it's Brian here from Tracks in the Box. When you're creating Tracks in the Box in a genre like rock, pop, or anything where you're trying to recreate the sound of musicians playing real instruments, you're probably going to want some acoustic drum sounds as the foundation of your track. And unless you have a real drummer and drum kit on hand, you're going to need some virtual drums. There are a few different virtual drum instruments out there, but the two most popular ones are Addictive Drums and Easy Drummer. They're priced about the same and share many of the same features, but there are differences. So since there aren't many direct comparisons of these programs out there, I thought it might be helpful to hear the key differences from someone who spent a lot of time with both. So first off, how are the programs similar? The goal of these programs is basically the same. They're designed to give you instant access to production-ready drum sounds and MIDI grooves to build songs with, and the ability to customize those grooves in various ways. The details of how these goals are achieved is what we want to look at. Keep in mind that a lot of the differences we're going to talk about aren't necessarily pros or cons. What would make them good or bad is totally subjective and depends on your specific needs. Let's talk about the sounds. Addictive Drums gives you raw, unprocessed samples and then gives you various ways to sculpt those sounds. You get insert effects like compression, EQ, tape saturation, etc., a separate bus for parallel processing, and two send effects for reverb and delay. You also have full control of the volume envelope of each drum and controls for the pitch of each kit piece. Easy Drummer samples, by contrast, are all pre-processed. The trade-off here is that you don't have as much room to tweak. There are included effects, but they vary from preset to preset, and the controls for each are limited. You just don't have the freedom to build a sound from the ground up. The good news is that both programs offer multiple outputs, so you can send each channel to a separate channel in your DAW and process it with your own effects. In addition to the way each program achieves its sounds, they seem to have different ideas about how drums should sound. Tune tracks tend to be ringier with more sustain, and XLNs tend to be more dampened with fewer overtones and less sustain. Admittedly, this is a bit of a generalization because both companies offer a wide variety of kits, but typically I find this to be true. Let's talk about the drums themselves. Addictive comes with three complete kits with two extra snare drums for a total of five snares. Easy Drummer comes with two categories of sounds, modern and vintage. In the modern category, you get three complete kits with several extra kit pieces in different configurations for a total of 13 snares and nine kicks. In the vintage category, you get two complete kits with four snare options and four kick options. So TuneTrack seems to be a bit more generous with the kit pieces and variations, and this is true of the expansion packs as well. With Addictive, you get one kit per expansion, and sometimes one extra kick or extra snare. Easy Drummer's expansions are almost always more than one kit, with many expansions coming in at three to five complete kits, with several additional kicks and snares. What Addictive does that Easy Drummer doesn't is offer individual kit pieces for sale. Instead of having to buy an entire expansion, you can just buy a snare, kick, or various percussion pieces. There are some key differences in presets as well. The basic version of Addictive Drums 2 comes with a total of 130 presets, ranging from totally unprocessed to demented. Easy Drummer 2 comes with 29 presets, also ranging from fairly natural to more processed, but none of them to the extreme that Addictive can go. Each program's approach to MIDI is a little different too. With Addictive, you get over 5,000 grooves with a main version of a specific beat and several variations on that theme. TuneTrack configures their MIDI in song format with intros, verses, choruses, etc., with a few versions in each category. In Easy Drummer 2, you get 21 complete songs in various genres and extras like snare rolls and percussion only grooves for a total of about a thousand patterns. They handle add on MIDI a little differently too. With Easy Drummer, you get a new MIDI pack with each EasyX expansion pack. There are also separate MIDI-only expansion packs that you can purchase. With Addictive Drums, you don't get any new MIDI patterns with their expansions, but they do have MIDI-only packs available. 
While we're on the subject of MIDI, let's talk about how the programs handle MIDI mapping. They each have a default map that is an extended version of general MIDI. Easy Drummer has four additional maps for electronic drum kits and four different response curves for the hi-hat pedal. Addictive gives you a complete mapping system with specific maps for just about every electronic drum kit available. Any of these can be modified or you can create one from scratch with independent control of MIDI note and velocity curve. You also have full control of hi-hat articulations, positional controls for the snare and ride cymbal, and cymbal chokes. When it comes to finding beats, Addictive and Easy Drummer differ slightly too. Easy Drummer 2 has a really cool feature called Tap to Find, which allows you to actually tap in the beat you want And then the program will present you with a list of matches and a percentage showing just how close each beat comes to the one you tapped in. Addictive has a feature called Grid Search, which is similar to a step sequencer. You manually click individual hits on a grid, and then the program shows you anything that comes close from your library. Let's look at some features that are totally unique to Addictive Drums. One feature is built-in layering. You can insert an extra kick, snare, or various other samples in an empty slot and link it to the main kick or snare so that the sample triggers along with it to augment the sound. The gallery in Addictive is unique as well. The ability to audition any of the ad packs available and see exactly what is in each expansion without leaving the program is pretty convenient. Another feature exclusive to Addictive is the audio recorder. The program is always recording whatever sound that is currently coming out of it, up to 15 seconds in length. So you can play a groove and then drag it out of the program as a WAV file to use as a loop. Or individual drum hits to use in a sampler or drum replacement program. Addictive Drum's snapshot feature can be very useful. It allows you to take a snapshot of the current kit and then tweak it without losing your original settings. Up to four snapshots are possible at any time. Another great feature of Addictive is the online installer. It's a separate program that manages any XLN products you own with a single click. It looks for updates to any products you own and any new products you've registered or deregistered to sell secondhand and installs or uninstalls accordingly. Easy Drummer has a menu command that checks the server for updates to your installed products, and if it finds any, it gives you a link to open the downloads page on the ToonTrack site, and then you have to manually download and install the updates. The final unique feature that Addictive can claim is text search. This is something I wish every program had, because a lot of times you know exactly what you want, and digging through menus is a lot slower than just typing in the name of what you're looking for. Addictive gives you text search in both the Presets browser and the Beats page. Let's look at some features that are totally unique to Easy Drummer 2. With Easy Drummer and its expansion kits, all of the drums are tracked, produced, and the presets designed by well-known professional producers. Guys like Andy Sneap, Colin Richardson, Chuck Ainley, Randy Staub, Peter Henderson, etc. Easy Drummer includes a feature called Song Creator that's really unique. What it does is allow you to pick a basic drum pattern that you want to build your song around, and then it will suggest all the other patterns you'd need to complete your song. It will give you several variations of intro, verse, chorus, etc. and then you can audition each one and drag the ones you like into the timeline to create a complete song. If that isn't easy enough, there are also several predefined song forms such as 12 bar, AABA, etc. that choose the patterns for you and you just have to drag the selected song form to the timeline to have the entire song created for you. Another cool feature is called Edit Playstyle, which allows you to customize a pattern in a number of ways. Add an opening hit on a crash or any other drum, adjust the velocity of each kit piece, change the power hand, which is the kit piece that drives the beat. For example, change the hi-hat to a ride or floor tom. And last, you can adjust the amount of any kit piece, which is how busy that drum or cymbal is played in the pattern. 
Easy Drummer intelligently adds or subtracts hits to the selected kit piece, allowing a lot of flexibility in terms of customizing a beat. Addictive also allows you to transform a pattern in most of the ways that Easy Drummer does, with the key exception being the amount parameter. Well, that about wraps up our comparison. Both Addictive Drums and Easy Drummer are excellent programs, and most people would be happy with either one. But if you have a specific need or way of working, I hope this video helped you zero in on the right choice for you. Thanks for watching.